So a man dies in an explosion after he tries to microwave a microwave and uh, let's all just take a moment and let's guess what state this guy's from. Do, do, do. <laughs> I know you're singing it in your mind, don't you? Go ahead, sing it with me on three. One, two, three. Florida, cause all the morons are in Florida. They microwave microwaves cause they got no brains. <laughs> that wasn't bad, that kind of rhymed a little bit. It's different every time, guys. That's how I do it on Weird AF News. The Florida song just, it just keeps on, you know, becoming a, a new variation each time. It's just evolving. It's ever evolving. <laughs> well, a Florida man has had one of the most epic deaths we've ever heard or written about. 26-year-old Bill Davis died after attempting to microwave a microwave. He was in a video call with his friends, and since they were bored, they dared him to microwave a smaller microwave, which he did. Now, uh, you know, when your friends dare you to do things, I mean, we always have this, right? This situation where your parents, well, so-and-so dared me to do this, or so-and-so, I mean, it's like, and all these challenges online, the ghost pepper challenge, the uh, eating a cactus challenge, what's, the, what's another one, the Tide Pod challenge, which is basically just eating poison. Um, have you seen the cactus eating? People eat cactus, I mean, that's outrageous. Watch that, Google that and watch some videos there, you'll just, you'll slide into a, a, a stupor of, uh, you know, idiotic culture right there. And I, I'd, I'd imagine, um, I, I was going to say a lot of cactus eating happens in Florida, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't think, I think a lot of the Tide Pod eating happens in Florida. Um, anyways, what was I getting on a rant about? Oh yeah, the, so just people that just take these dares and run with them. What is wrong with you? I mean, really? Really? Hey, I dare you to eat poison. Okay. Make a video of it. All right. Now, I dare you to microwave a microwave. First of all, you know what happens when you microwave metal, right? I mean, that's just, your microwave could explode, a fire, obviously. Now, what, what makes a microwave? A microwave is made up of all sorts of different metals, and who the hell knows? Isn't there like some sort of radiation generator in there? <laughs> I mean, what the hell? What, what in your mind would ever tell you that that's okay? Never mind. Look at if, if this guy was 12 years old, I'd be like, all right, uh, sort of excusable. 26 years old? This is what you get with a, a, a Florida brain, 26 years old. Duh! I'm gonna microwave a microwave! Why? Why would you do that? You know you're gonna blow up your house. I don't know! Uh, what makes you say that? Why would you do that though? Because my friend said it was a good idea! Friend, my friend uh, dared me, and uh, yeah, so, what's up? And I'm not doing anything on Tuesday, so, gonna microwave this microwave! <laughs> this is. This is a, a way that we can eliminate just idiocy is, uh, this is like, uh, some kind of Darwinian shit right here, you know? If we just allow them to do what's in their brain, they'll just be eliminated. You know, it'll be like an evolutionary thing. Like, oh, this, this guy's a dummy, he probably shouldn't be, well, for one, he shouldn't be uh, spreading his seed anywhere, he shouldn't be parenting anybody, I think we could argue with that, I mean, so let's hope, for, let's hope he doesn't have children. Uh, but yeah, this is a way to eliminate all these idiots. We could just go to Florida and, and just make them all walk into the ocean. Why don't we just do that? Just get... <laughs> oh, man. So anyways, one of his friends said uh, on the video call, I really didn't think he was going to do it. But he's one of our craziest friends who would do anything just to make us laugh, including blow, him, blow his body up. Uh, yeah, everyone needs a friend like this, right? I mean, this is this is not a friend you need, man. This is the kind of guy that would do this while you guys were sitting at the kitchen table. He, I mean, he does not care. And next thing you know, you're blown up. Um, he had a big and a small microwave at home, said Vanessa, one of his friends. He put one into the other and plugged in the biggest one, and then it started. Okay. He turned it on for four minutes. 4.20. Four, four minutes, 20 seconds, because that got an extra laugh. Oh, it's nice to know that the last thing he did in his life was do a pot joke. Isn't that great? We all laughed at, when we were watching the video, but we stopped laughing when we heard the explosion and the video call stopped. After hearing the explosion, they called the police and found that Davis was dead and his chicken was burned. Is this a joke? Is this article a joke? <laughs> his chicken was burned? What did he put a chicken in the smaller microwave and then put that in the big microwave? I mean, Vanessa said he did it to make us laugh. We'll never forget about him as she cried. Please don't try this at home. Yeah, please don't try this at home.
Just don't. Just don't do it. No, don't microwave anything that's metal. All right. Now I know kids are listening to Weird AF News, okay? Because I'm getting, I get messages from kids sometimes, and you know, first of all, I don't even know if kids should be listening to this because I don't know if any impressionable human should be, you know, actively listening on a daily basis to what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> I should give a warning up top. Hey, if you're a kid, Weird AF News might not be for you. But anyways, I'm just saying, look at guys, you know, you know you don't put metal in a microwave, okay? I just want everyone to know that, all right? If you're listening in Florida, do not put metal in a microwave. What are other things that Floridians need to know? Okay, well, don't go outside in a lightning storm and hold a, a golf club above your head. Don't do that, guys, in Florida. You've got to tell these people that in Florida because they will do that. Uh, don't chug a beer when you get pulled over for a DUI right in front of the police. Don't do that. That's something you no, you would say, Jonesy, why would you tell them that? Oh, because I did an article recently and that's what they're doing in Florida apparently. <laughs> oh, and don't dry hump an alligator, okay? Although it looks like a fun, sexy beast, don't dry hump it if you can help that. All right. Hey, Florida, you should listen to Weird AF News and uh, I'm going to get your life on track here. <laughs> okay, Jonesy, out.